Good day everyone. Today we are going to talk about exponential functions. We are the group four and today we are going to talk about these exponential functions. So when we say exponential functions, we really think about exponents and functions from the root word exponential root word of exponent. When we say exponent, these are the numbers that tell us on how many times we multiply the number by itself. For example, it is 3 raised to the power of 4. This tells us that e times 3 times 3 times 3 is equal to 81. 3 times 3 is equal to 9. Times 3 is 27. 27 times 3 is equal to 81. While functions, these are the relation in which every element of the domain corresponds only to one range. So what exactly is the definition of exponential function? Let's read. The function of f of x equals to b raised to the power of x, where b is any real number greater than 0 but not equal to 1. And let's remember about the rules of the exponent. When our exponent is 0, this will always be equal to 1. So let's have our example. Example. 3 raised to the power of x plus 2 is equal to 9 raised to the power of 2x minus 3. So the 3 in here, the 9 in here, is our base. And this x plus 2 and 2x minus 3 is, is what we call our, this is what we call the exponent. As what had the rule, as what the rule said, the base should be greater than 0, and 3 is greater than 0, as you will know, and not equal to 1. 3 is also greater than 1, so our base is right, and our exponent is also correct, so this can be considered as an example of exponential function. While in the second example, 1 raised to the power of x plus 2 is equal to 1 raised to the power of 2x plus 2. As what Andrew said, our base should be greater than 0, and correct, 1 is greater than 0, but in addition, b should not be equal to 1. But our base is equal to 1, so this can be considered as exponential functions. So, good day everyone. Today, I am going to discuss about solving exponential functions. So, the first thing to do is to look at your given. So, for our example number 1, 3 raised to the power of x plus 2 is equal to 3 raised to the power of 2x minus 3. So, the first step is that we should look at our base. So, we have discussed earlier about the, the parts of a function. So, in this one, the base is 3. Since they already are, they are already similar, we can proceed to the next step. So, the next step is that we will disregard the base and just focus on our exponent. So, it will become x plus 2 is equal to 2x minus 3. After this, we will just combine like terms. So, the first thing to do is that we will transpose x to the other side and negative 3 to the other side. So, it will become 3 plus 2 is equal to 2x minus our x, so 5 is equal to 2x minus x is equal to x, therefore x is equal to 5. And that is our, and that is the way on how to get the value of our x in solving the exponential functions.